And joining us live now is the New South Wales Shadow Treasurer, Damien Tudorhope. Damien, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. So let's start with, I guess this is probably two separate things. What sort of budget are you expecting as opposed to what are you hoping for today? Well, I'm expecting a budget which delivers for the union bosses who have, uh, in fact, supported Labor's uh, rise to the Treasury benches. So they're delivering for the commitments which they made to the union movement in relation to uh, wage rises. And what we do see is that there is potentially $10 billion uh, in unfunded wage commitments uh, which have got to be met, met by the government. And most of the cuts which are being made today uh, for the purposes of making sure that those commitments to the union movement uh, can be met. What I say in terms of what we would have liked to have seen uh, is uh, the vision for New South Wales which existed with the previous government for the purposes of a continuation of the delivery of infrastructure. Under the previous government we uh, in fact renovated the state and wherever you go there were new hospitals, new schools, new roads and new uh, rail networks and that was a, a legacy of the previous government where we managed to have fiscal responsibility at the same time as being able to deliver a renovated state. Uh, I think that will go by the wayside today because we have commitments to others uh, which in fact necessitate uh, the, uh, the, the cut, cutting or cancelling of many of those projects. Was the COVID cost blowouts though fiscal responsibility? I mean, does that fall under that umbrella? Well, I have, there's no doubt that uh, COVID uh, certainly uh, was something which impacts on the ability of uh, governments to uh, reduce debt. But there is an expectation in the community that we responded to yeah. the COVID pandemic. And certainly the way that we did it, I think, uh, in many respects, showed that we did it in a way which was probably better than any other jurisdiction in Australia. And that was evidenced by... The, the ratings agencies after the pandemic still retaining New South Wales AAA credit ratings. Now, that is the objective standard that you look for for the purposes of establishing the quality of fiscal management. What do others say about what's the credit opinion that others look to for the purpose right. of the way that you run an economy? So, no, yeah, no, no doubt all of that was needed uh, in a very, very, very uncertain time, but that bill needs to be paid off now. And there is, as I just mentioned correct. earlier, the expectation that we could well return to surplus in the next three years, could be back in the black. Are you that optimistic? Oh, well, uh, it remains to be seen. Um, uh, a lot of the uh, potential uh, additional revenue which the government uh, will be expecting and which will be building into that uh, optimism for a surplus is built on probably uh, additional GST revenue uh, and GST revenue uh, is underpinned by inflationary pressures. So, yeah. so that's the, 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 challenge, the challenge that uh, the government uh, has to do is to try and keep inflation under control uh, in circumstances where they want a surplus and one of the big impacts on inflation of course uh, is unbridled uh, uh, wage uh, rises and in fact the, the, the wage price spiral uh, yeah. is a common problem uh, which exists in relation to any economy. But, but weren't those wage rises needed, uh, you know, in, in a high inflation environment? Were those wage rises not needed? Uh, I, there's no doubt that, uh, that whatever government was in, uh, was in charge of the Treasury benches, you had to look at the manner in which you managed uh, wage rises. We, in fact, had already uh, indicated that we were prepared to move the, uh, the wage cap, and we had done so in, in the last yeah. budget. But now there is no uh, cap in relation to wages. But, but the, the government came to power on a, a circumstances where it said to the people, we will fund of our wage rises for the public sector by productivity I improvements. Now, they have yet to identify one productivity measure from the public sector to justify the wage rises. Now, I agree uh, that there had to be a, uh, a, an increase or a, a, at least an acknowledgement uh, of the pressures on public sector workers, but there is no commitment to make sure we have that under control. OK. Damien Tudhope, the uh, New South Wales Shadow Treasurer, thanks for your time this morning. That uh, budget lock-up begins very soon, but we'll have Kenny Heatley covering it in just a few moments.